Have you ever wondered how hypnotherapy works or more to the point of hypnotherapy? Do you often wonder or are you scared in case hypnosis might make you bark like a dog or quack like a dog? Stick around for more information. Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Darren. I'm a qualified hypnotherapist with my own practice. I help corporate professionals who deal with work and career related anxiety. Today, I want to talk about hypnosis a little bit and how it works. So one of the most common things is that people actually ask is, how does hypnotherapy work? Hypnotherapy can help with a number of different things, including anxiety, irritable bowel syndrome, chronic pain, and many other ailments. Think of it this way. When something happens to your mind or your body, it triggers something. So we're going to have a look at the mind for a moment. So imagine the mind like an iceberg floating above the water. The larger portion of the iceberg is underwater and the smaller portion is above. Now think of this and make this like your mind. So 90% of your mind is made up of subconscious and 10% of that is conscious. So a lot of people who might say I can't be hypnotized don't actually realize how often they are hypnotized without even knowing. So let's take the thought of driving a car. How often have you driven a car from A to B and you've got out of the car and thought, I can't really remember the journey? In a sense, that's a sense of hypnosis because what's happening is your subconscious is taken over. We're so used to doing this time and time again that when we drive the car, we don't even think about driving it. Think back to when you first learned to drive a car, especially if it was a manual. We have to think about things like changing gear, adding the signal, checking our mirrors, making sure our seat position's right, all those things. But what happens after a time is when we start to learn, it becomes an automatic process. So without even realizing it, you're doing things like changing gear, signaling, checking mirrors, without even thinking about it. That's the 90% part of your mind that's doing the driving. But then the 10% comes in. So the conscious part is your daily chatter. This is things like, did I brush my teeth this morning? Do I really want a cup of coffee? I don't want to go to work. Do I need to go shopping tonight? What am I going to have to eat later? That is your day-to-day, -day, everyday chatter. But let's say, for instance, you're driving along a road and a ball comes out in the middle of Norway Automatically, we're going to assume that when a ball comes out into a road, a child's going to follow. Our conscious then kicks in, tells us there's a hazard coming, and makes us prepare to either slow down or stop. And that's exactly the way like hypnosis works. When it comes to being hypnotized, a lot of people think of it like in the movies. So they think that they're going to be in this deep sleep, that they're just completely not aware, and that the person that's doing the hypnosis is going to take over. That's not the case at all. For most people, they're not actually asleep. They still have a conscious awareness. But the thing being is, us as hypnotherapists just are not bothered about that conscious at all, because what we look to do is to talk to that subconscious. So for most of my clients who are under hypnosis, they're completely aware of the sound of my voice and everything around them. But what they're not often aware of is the idiomotor signals that the body gives. So what is an idiomotor signal? So what this is, is we might talk to the subconscious and we're asking the subconscious to give us a sign. Often it could be uh, fingers twitching, it could be hands twitching, it could be eyes flickering, it could be a number of different things. These are receptors that we look at to tell us that the subconscious is responding to the instruction that we're giving it. So if we know that the subconscious is following instruction, it means that we're able to carry out what we need the subconscious to do. <clears throat> now, I've talked about this in a previous video, but imagine that subconscious as well is a bit like a telephone exchange. So all the time when you're doing things, there's switches flicking on and off, on and off all the time. So what sometimes happens is if there's, say, a mental related illness, it's often stemming from a trauma. So the trauma happens and it causes a switch to flick. And sometimes what happens, that switch gets a bit stuck. So the person's then dealing with this, all this anxiety or this, you know, whatever the, the mental related is, and they cannot switch off the switch. It's our job, 
under hypnosis to help you switch that switch off. The subconscious works without you even realising it. So think of it this way, all the way through our lives, everything we see and experience, your subconscious records. And with the help of hypnosis, we can actually help you to recall memories. It's been proven. Um, and what we can do is any time we can make a memory really, really vivid. So sometimes things that you don't actually realise that you've looked at, your mind recalls them. So sometimes it can be as easy as recalling the registration of a car. It could be recalling the colour of something. It could be recalling the description of someone or even a name or address or a phone number. It could be that vivid. That's just one of the ways that we can do it with hypnosis. And how we hypnotise you is what we call induction. So there are thousands and thousands of ways that we can do induction. And induction basically is getting you into a relaxed state where your body's completely relaxed and your mind's relaxed. Now, a lot of people, again, are put off with hypnosis because they feel that they're going to be put into a deep sleep and they're not going to be aware. That is not the case at all. Most people will have a complete awareness of what's going on whilst they're being hypnotised. That you're always in control. You can bring yourself out of hypnosis at any time you want. There is no way that somebody can do any kind of mind control or anything like that. It's simply not possible. You have 100% control of your mind all the time. The thing is, is where the trick comes into it with hypnosis is we can tap into the subconscious mind to make you temporarily forget something. So, for instance, when you see a stage hypnotist saying you're now an alien and you're going to talk like an alien, what they're doing is they're telling the mind, forget that you can speak the language you can speak and start talking gibberish. So for a short time, what your mind does is it forgets. So automatically you're programmed with this new language and then you'll start talking about it. You're completely aware, completely conscious. You think it's completely normal. But then suddenly they'll bring you back under and then what they'll do again is they'll help you revert to your normal language, forgetting this gibberish language. But even if they didn't, you would just forget about it after maybe, what, a couple of minutes and you would start reverting back to normal. There are plenty of things that hypnosis can do. On the hypnotherapy side, there are so many benefits. Hypnotherapy can help with IBS. It can help with chronic pain. It can help with insomnia. It can help with stress. It can help with so many different things. And we're just scratching the surface. In the 20th century, hypnosis was studied a lot and it's been found to be a wonderful tool. Versus traditional therapy, hypnotherapy can actually help to relieve the symptoms of ailments in as little as four weeks instead of months and months and months of therapy. So this was just a short video just to go through some of the things that hypnosis does. If you would like more information, please feel free to drop a question or let me know for any future videos. Feel free to subscribe for more content. I post videos every Wednesday answering the most common questions with regards to hypnosis and hypnotherapy. So until next time, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.